The views and opinions of the Nissan Nation podcast are simply that. They are views and opinions of its guests or hosts. They do not reflect Nissan corporate or otherwise. Now, a DRB and KGB media presentation, the Nissan Nation podcast. Hit it, Kelly. Recorded live, coast to coast, it's the Nissan Nation podcast. From camping, racing, and all points in between. The NNP is your Nissan Nation podcast. Now start your engines and welcome in your hosts, David, Danny, and Holden. What is going on, Nissan Nation? From all things Nissan here in Middle Tennessee to wherever Danny is at, Catalina Island, or I don't know where Danny is this week. This is your Nissan Nation podcast and birds and all that Dan has given me. What is going on, buddy? What up, Dave? Man, it's good to be back. It's been a while since you've sure been on the show. Lots of uh, rattly mic noises all night as I tap my mic. I'm sure I don't know. I don't mind it, but I'm sure the listeners with headphones probably mind it. Mm, they're gonna love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be be very um very in their ear holes tonight. Well, so yeah, it's been a while for you, Dan. Well, yeah. Uh, well, it's it's. It's been a while for me because you got so many interviews. You just got to pump them out. That's right, man. We got a bunch of interviews for our listeners. We've got, we've got went interview. We've got a few went interviews. We've got CVT. We've got um, uh, oh gosh, uh, Overland guy I just did the other day. All things Overland. Man, I've got all kinds of interviews, and uh, they all go. All these people go. Well, where's the big deal? Where is the action? And we're like, yeah, those guys don't mean a ton. The, we're like the action's the gone, crew. man. There's yeah, no the, more action. The true suit. beef of the NMP is back, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Should we call you? I'm the, here. The beef master, then is that what the it is? The full beef, mm-hmm. the full beef of the NMP. <laughs> so Dan, so how are things? Like, I I know you've uh, you've been working on your truck a little bit. You've been dropping some videos. What's what is in the world of the group? Oh, kinds of stuff, man. Uh, just nonstop busy summer stuff, kids. Um, it's my birthday. I had a little birthday shindig. Oh, my buddy right. Sean, happy birthday, came out from buddy. Vegas. We had a blast. Yeah, thanks, man. And uh, this, yeah, it was the second year I didn't spend it at Wind Rock. So I know it's, it's, it's probably nice happy to, for you and your family. Nice but. To spend, well, I didn't spend it at Wind Rock, but I was gone for two weeks um, for work on my birthday again. So when I got back, I had a party. Well, that that kind of blows a little bit, but you know. I know you're. It was busy, fun. Man. The action suit came out. You know, we hit the. We we had a little uh, room rented out at a bar and made smoky old fashions and got in and out at midnight and Speaking did it right. You know, where was that action suit taken at a fast food restaurant? Where what was going? That on was there? an that was an in and out mm-hmm. that's down the road from my house, and that was at about midnight. And uh, <laughs> we we went there and we got some drinks before we went there. Quite a few. Uh, I don't. A hundred percent. Remember taking that picture? <laughs> I can honestly, say I don't even don't even know. I don't. I I know I didn't order any food there, but I remember. But I remember. I looked at my videos of me getting home. Yeah. Because I have a little re, uh, video system at my house. I saw myself eating some eating some uh, in and out, walking up to the door, just smashing a burger. So. I mean, I didn't drive home. Let's let's be very clear. There was zero driving in my in my state of my heightened state of action suit we'll call it <laughs> heightened state of action suit. but no it was it was a great night it was a lot of fun i had a lot of fr- great friends come over and uh, we all just uh yeah we all we all tied one off real nice like oh i like dropping that man thank you uh That's el good. capitan for uh for giving us that little bit of goodness so Dan, we had went Windrock, man, and we'll go call this Nissan News. But uh, we, like you just said earlier, another year without the group. But uh, somehow the event survived. I think, Danny. Well, speaking of tying one off, you guys, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I was I was following along on the on the feed, and you guys looked like you had a fun. There was a there was a few guys that had a very fun time. 
Well, as a, as, uh, as a guy that's standing from the, the background, kind of looking in a little bit, man, kind of when you start seeing from the week, you start seeing pictures and everything being dropped. And, and, you know, I know, I know Danny's like, you're kind of like, damn it. I wish I was there. Even though what? you always, everybody wants to be home and doing your thing. What from the get go, what did you think was going on out there, man? It was like pandemonium. Well, I mean, I, I was watching from like a couple of different friends feeds on Facebook, you know, and well, of course, like you guys as tech. So it's it, I kind of get a little bit of a different vibe or, or feel of what the events happening. I get kind of like the behind the scenes uh, texts of right. what was going on um, or the late night texts or, you know, those things. So like this, the first I don't know if I think it was the first night when I saw Miller. Well, not even I don't think they were ever the first night, you know, it was, it was holding uh and the, you know they're just having a good time you were wrapping trucks and um i'm you know like the the first time i went out there i went up there with you early and you know we we basically were just drinking beers and setting up stuff and i mean i i miss it like crazy i miss all you guys and so just seeing the text come through you know the, it, it just kind of slowly escalated through the week yeah. you know it started with some some regular old fun fun and games and then it uh it snowballed into shin darts <laughs> yes and it, yes shin darts and, and breadsticks <laughs> um yeah so so the week starts yeah we're wrapping kelly's xterra and and that's okay so we're that starts the pandemonium like just craziness of like Something that should take two days. Somehow we got done in like seven hours, yeah. and I, I won't say it's the it's the most perfect wrap, but uh, Luke did everything he could to, with people bugging him, and you know you're in a like we haven't had rain in two months. Well, it's so not it's like dusty. he was in his garage in like a clean environment, right? And you know, I'm guessing did you watch, like wash oh, yeah. the car there and then put it on? Like, well, no, still, we, like we didn't wash the car under an overhang outside in like bug and dust environment on top of the fact that you know he's he's basically just slapping it on you know was there wind no no it was actually quite was it calm it, yeah it was pretty calm what was the temperature like oh like 97 degrees so and humid as piss yeah yeah it was pretty miserable i just i it just seems like all the wrong uh <laughs> things to have to wrap a vehicle and uh, but I'm sure I uh, like Luke's uh, he, he just he's a he's a doer. You he's, know, he gets things done no matter what the scenario. That's right. So I'm sure he uh, he did it with with all the conditions that he was given. I'm sure it was still pretty solid. Right. And so the, if you don't know, the the podcast Xterra has been wrapped to a kind of a dark gunmetal gray. And uh, it was supposed to have been done like a month or so before the event. We were supposed to go to Luke's house in uh, Iowa and, and have him do it. And just life happens and gets in the way and you can't do that. And I've got all this rap that I've paid for. And he's like, we'll just do it at the event. And I'm like, really? Like, you know, in the year before we did Holden's, <laughs> Holden's Frontier in the same way, it was, except at least that was just a cab of a truck that we did. Now you yeah. have to do a whole Xterra. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, everybody starts handing each other beers and like it gets crazy in that. But so TV's own Ryan Miller shows up, Danny. And anytime Ryan Miller is involved, it's going to be something crazy, and especially when his GLX guys come in. And then you got you got Brian Turnquist and all these guys showing up. And he's introduced me to a new game that I really, really like. It's called uh, Beer Darts. I don't know uh -huh. if you've ever seen this before, Dan. I never saw it until uh until the the text started rolling in. I hadn't either. And and so I guess for our listeners, what they do is it's basically just like a two foot by two foot board with a two by two uh board backing and you put a can of beer up there and you get a dart and each person is on one side and you throw a dart and you get three holes in that beer and your game's over. But when you put a hole in the beer, you have to chug the beer from where the hole is so it can't spill out the hole anymore. So oh. the object is to get as low as possible in that beer can right from the get-go, and they call that a kill shot. And you so to, you, you're you throwing a dart at the other person's yes. ba beer, basically? Yes. And this, if you hit it, then they got to grab it and, and yeah. drink to that spot? Yep. Yep. And so oh, I like it. See, I did I, like I saw it and I was like, I don't what are you going to throw the thing into the beer? I'm like, I don't know what's going on it right. right now. But apparently they got out the beers. Right. And they made up a game. But it's like a like it's a game. Well, like, and, it's like beer then, pong or whatever. Then Luke brings in something called Natter Days. And uh, 
uh, we need sponsorship in Natter Days because uh, <laughs> it's Natty Light with a uh, lemonade flavor. I don't know, man. It's it, I forget what the slogan was. It's if you like <laughs> lemonade and beer, let's mix them together. It's it sounds to just and it is just as horrible as it sounds. But uh, at, like we sold out, we all over Springs, Tennessee had no more Natter Days because we were buying it by the cases there because it was the beer that was the drink of this year's event. It's weird it? how that works, huh? It's just like randomly, like something mm-hmm. like catches on, and then everybody, like if you're not drinking a, as you would, as you guys were calling it a Natter Day, then you're just like, man, I feel kind of left out, you know? Yeah. You're like, what are you drinking that for? I mean, I'm sure uh, Aaron was drinking his Millers. Oh, of course, Aaron but, was. But it was like it was like hillbilly white claw. Is yeah. basically what yeah. it was. Nice. <laughs> but so, you know, after a few cases of that, man, everybody is just hammered and, and I'm I'm throwing darts and I'm playing against Holden and somehow I throw it into his foot and <laughs> and I was like, Well, that's about as bad as this will get. So somehow me and Kelly stumble back to our cabin and you know, we're reminiscing about the day and there's Aaron with his eighteen pack under his arm following us around, going, Okay, let's go. And um I wake up the next morning and I turn on my uh my Facebook and all of a sudden I hear this. I'll give you two bread sticks, no problem. Okay, you gotta move your right now? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, don't don't no wake up. Shh, don't wake up my roommate. Let's go. My thing is like Steve Roman bullshit. Don't wake up my roommate. <laughs> so here we are in the crocky and all of a sudden Guess what? We ain't closed no more. We're fucking goddamn open. Pardon the language, by the way. She got to wake up my roommates. (laughs) This is at 4.30 in the morning. I think JR said you're going to wake up my roommates like 14 times during that video. It's fucking open. So they're trying to break in our cabin. Radio silent. Once we open the door. Let me let me let me set this up a little bit. So (laughs) earlier in the day, we bought a bunch of pizzas and Holden knew it. And JR was staying with us in our cabin. And so Holden knew there was pizza and breadsticks in our refrigerator. So they decided we need to break into the cabin because there was no more beer, nothing else to drink. And let's get into in the cabin. Let's eat up the breadsticks. And, you know, when you're drunk, everything makes sense. So so why not? And, of course, they have they have Brian Turnquist with them. And, um... It gets, you know, they finally make it into the cabin. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Bear with me here. Here we are. Here we are with the breadsticks on. But there's more Natter Days. Oh my God, there's Natter Days. <laughs> there Easy now. Shh. Please. Don't wake my mother. Don't. We don't want to wake the mother. Shh. <laughs> Brian Turnquist is grabbing him like he's my guy, you know, <laughs> Mission Impossible. No, no microwaving. No, I just got a proof. I just got a proof. Fighting over the microwave. Yes. Right now. What? Take this. What you can't see right there is Brian who tells him to hold the <laughs> Brian grabs what he br- grabs a breadstick, right? No, he just says hold these, and he runs and jumps out the front door <laughs> like Superman. <laughs> And, over the <laughs> over the rail. Yeah, like and you never field, see like Brian again. Yeah, so so you don't see Brian again, and you're like, okay, well, uh, you know, uh, who knows? So, so wait, let's get it back just a little bit. I did not approve of this. I was hijacked. <laughs> Can I get one of them goddamn monsters? It's three in the no. morning. <laughs> no. You want a monster? Four yes. fifteen in the morning. Exactly. Go fuck off. <laughs> You're gonna Suddenly Brian, they they realize where did Brian go? Brian, Brian could be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's still out here in the same spot. They really walk out of the kitchen out, out into the dark. You're alive, right? Oh yeah, I'm just stuck. <laughs> okay, are you really? Hold on, I gotta turn the light off. Pulled in still eating hot <laughs> breadsticks. So now they now they look. Right there the- so now they look and they turn on the front porch lights and they see that Brian is laying on the ground. Like just happy as can be, just laying there. And um chaos ensues from there. The other side, I can't get <laughs> We got the cure. 
We I had fucking breadstick. Hello, Nissan Nation. We're here Hello, live. Hello, Nissan Nation. Hi, breadstick. <laughs> We're here live at go, the parking lot of the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> There's, but really, there's Brian. Really and good. Stuck in the <laughs> He's in a predicament. <laughs> we don't know what to do, so we're just gonna leave him here. Where's my? It's son? a good thing for the UFO from CBT provides lights and other hey, things. So look, obviously there's there's nothing we can do here. He's a lost cause. So hold him. Head on back to the cabin. We I'm, better put I'm him down. Let's put him down. <laughs> <Are you there? laughs> so 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 yeah they um. Uh, so what happened was Brian jumps over the railing and there was a trash can right there and somehow places his foot in between two boards when he falls and his foot is Yeah, the, the trash the trash can is surrounded by a giant like wooden enclosure. So be t- in between a tire and the trash can, his foot got stuck in like the lattice of the side of the trash can wood stuff. And he's just laying on his back, just... Just happy. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Oh, man, I'm stuck. Yeah, and so they hand him one of these hot <laughs> breadsticks. The and he's laying down, just eating breadsticks. And then they're talking about <laughs> they can't, they can't get him out of it. So they're like, "Well, we'll just leave him here and leave." Oh, <laughs> uh, went went after dark is always, always uh, uh, hilarious. Something hilarious always happens. It's usually after like ten or eleven, I think. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> when um, it starts is when it starts getting exciting. I mean, I, I wrestled a, uh, I wrestled a, a giant Wookie mm-hmm. one night. Around a campfire. I was there for that Garth. You took yeah. down Garth, and then I think Danny got sick wrestling Garth because and Garth gave you was, some kind I of pain. I was wrestling thinner. Garth, and then I threw up. Yes. You should never wrestle when you've uh, had a number of drinks. Well, it's always nice when Garth says, "Hey, drink this." And you're like, "Okay." You know, you're you're everybody's having fun, so somebody hands you something, they're like, "Drink it," and then he's like, "Yeah, that has some oh, kind that of was hallucinogenic." A Serbian moonshine. He's like, "Yeah, it's like a hallucinogenic or something," and you're like. And then like Gar sell, first. but he's selling you on it like, oh no, you're about to trip balls. And I'm like, uh, okay. yeah, I took a drink and then I realized that it was an, it was like an old like Serbian water bottle that had been like just filled with whatever, yeah, rubbing alcohol that something. <laughs> so so yeah, if if you haven't like went is a fun time just for if you like off roading, but I think the social aspect is always like crazy at the end of the night. What happens? Yeah, if you, if you're willing if you're willing to put in the work at when after after dark, yep, with uh, the the crazies, uh, you're definitely gonna have some stories to tell. That's right, and I'm gonna post this video on our social medias. Uh, it's it's a long one, guys. Like, and you have to watch all 12 minutes of it because it is it's it's worth it. It's worth it. The the laughs never the laughs don't stop, man. That's right. It's 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 crazy, and and you've heard Holden on here, and you can just hear his voice how hammered he is, and just so anyway. So so that was when when it was a good time, Danny. Uh, you know. Always, always fun, and I appreciate all the sponsors that that. Who are the Who are the Rock Challenge winners? Uh, well, you know Brady Overly won, and uh, of Crocs. I call him Croc because I can never cro- whatever is C R O I X. I forget how you pronounce it. It's French of some sort. Crow. I don't know Croc. Le Cru. Le Cru. <laughs> Anyways, Croc. so we had a first time, like his first time doing it, and first time winner, man. So nice. that was really cool. Very good. A lot of breakdowns. I think Holden. Yeah, I saw Holden um, blow out, blow out his dry shaft. Yep. Um, yeah. Quite a few breakdowns, actually. Uh, but, you know, it was a good time, and it's always watched, fun watching. I streamed it, so if you haven't, go to our Facebook page, and you can find where I streamed the whole event. Um, but it was a good time, man. And speaking of good times, the Texas State Fair is going on. It should be just wrapping up, Danny. And uh, Texas seems to be the place now, if you're a, a truck manufacturer, you want to release your vehicles, your new stuff right there. Yeah, that's the um, that's the, the favored place uh, on account of the, I mean, I guess Texas is known for its trucks and it probably has a bit of volume when it comes to selling trucks out there. A lot less Priuses, more trucks, I'm guessing. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of red-blooded Americans out there in Texas, man. And so Nissan... Of course, we've been reporting it for at least two months before anybody else did uh, that, hey, the new Titan is coming out and there's a new refresh. And we had hinted around, I think I'd, I'd told you guys several times that it was going to be 400 horsepower, 
we were dead on on everything we've talked about, Dan. And, yeah, I think we, we, we had a, we had a good line on what what we were going to see out of it. The, what what we didn't have this time was uh, was a picture of the you know the front end, and and they you know that we we had spy shots, but basically all the changes were all messed up on the spy shots, so you couldn't really get a good feel for what was changed. I I do think that we I think we saw or I think we had a good idea what the headlights looked like. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were a big fan of that when we saw those first time, right? The sunroof um, and everything. Yeah. And we knew, we knew about some of the new features. Um, I mean, we didn't talk about everything that we knew about, um, due to propriety, but, uh, yeah, we were, we were pretty dead on and, uh, we, we, we kind of knew what was coming, but the, I think the big shock was just how good it looks mm-hmm. to tell you the truth for me. I mean, I really, really think they changed, they changed the look of, of that truck enough to, make it stand out so much more well they did do that and of course they added a few little things so let's get into it this is from nissan usa's press release what is new on the titan so september 26 2019 which is the day they premiered this so they have a retuned 5.6 liter endurance v8 with 400 horsepower the most powerful standard v8 in its class matched with a new nine speed automatic transmission and uh, we talked about this nine speed a little bit um it's it's kind of where the market shifted, you know. GM and Ford partnered in on a ten speed, and uh, I think that's to get probably fuel economy. I think you need a a few uh, bigger gears there, Danny. And they're also now standard is Nissan Safety Shield three hundred and sixty technology across the two thousand twenty lineup. So that's actually pretty cool, man. It's it's not just yeah, for the, it's, in, it's it's more of like industry standard now that you mm-hmm. that you can get across the line and. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it necessarily sets them apart per se, but it makes the truck, um, totally, you know, like I said, industry standard. You know, every everybody has most of these features. Some of them, you know, maybe better or worse than others, but all the things that 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 360 Shield gives, you know, with the lane departure warning or, um, what is it, uh, rear braking and the oncoming traffic awareness and yeah, all, yeah, all re- those things that it, that it adds to to the um, to the vehicle. That's it's almost like you have to have those now if you want to compete. So and it's really nice to see well, all some, that stuff. Some being of offered. this is becoming federally mandated as well, I believe. So yeah, probably I'm sure. And I like that they go the new powerful warrior exterior design, and I'm still waiting for that part of the truck to pop up. But um, well, I, you I see do... hints of it. I think I think in the grill area, you really kind of see some of that that warrior grill styling. Yeah, but I which grill? Because now this is and this is well needed. So now you get a different grill in the SL, the Pro 4X, and the Platinum. So they each kind of have their own unique look a little bit. So I know the Pro yeah. 4X definitely has a little bit of it. Yeah, definitely in the Pro 4X. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't have that kind of that big flat front look to it anymore. You know, right. it has like they they really broke up the lines on the, that front area to kind of give it a little bit more, um, or a little bit less of that big flat bull nose mm-hmm. kind of look. And let's see, it says with a redefine or re uh, if I can see it, say it right. Refined interior design offering first-class accommodations available with integrated command center with a 9-inch high-resolution touchscreen. And it says it's going to be early 2020 sale, which I'm hearing February is what early means. Nice. So, they also have that uh, that the instrument cluster that's right in front of you. It's got that 7-inch um, mm-hmm. advanced drive assist, which yeah. is right, you know, in basically in between the gauges um, on the on the instrument cluster right in front of the driver. Um, which is another kind of thing that you'd see on some of the competitors' trucks, but it's really nice. It's it's nice and big, um, and I'm happy that they kind of added that, uh, especially with the you know the Pro 4X. They got the little off-road thing. You know, it shows you your degrees that you're leaning, and you know if you're four low or high or whatever. It's yeah. it's, it's pretty nice, nice little display. When I know the display now, like it, it it's some of the sensors are reading uh, your signs and stuff, and it's giving you kind of heads up on that. Yeah, um, yeah, you can you can toggle and 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 choose kind of what you want to see. It, I really like that because you know some a while ago, you know that some some cars had it and some cars didn't, and some you get, you know, your own little thing and that's what you got is what you got. Now you can, you know, if you're a big fuel economy guy, you can want to put fuel economy on there. You put it there. Mm-hmm. You know, if you just want to look like you're off-roading, maybe you put your off-road stuff on there or something. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, some of the cool but, things that I've seen in this truck, and of course we haven't got to see, I've seen the truck in person, but not 
fully uh, visible. I, the last one I seen was still kind of band-aided up looking, you know, how they, they like to camouflage yeah. them. Yeah. But the cool, the cool thing too is each package now is going to actually start looking like its own thing. And, you know, I talked about the grill a little bit earlier where the grills are starting to be a little different. Like Pro 4X is going to have a more uh, sporty, aggressive looking grill versus the SL, which is going to be more of a, uh, you know, I, I don't know what Ford or Chevy, the silverado E kind of package is what the SL will be. And then your Platinum, you know, is Platinum, kind of what Ford calls their Platinum. The Platinum's got this real cool brushed aluminum look to it now, which is really nice. The inside, they've revamped the leather. A lot of wood grain looking stuff. Like, it's starting to feel like, hey, you should charge $60,000 for this truck, which I don't think the previous Platinum ever fully felt like it was a platinum edition um you know now they have a new eight inch screen that's standard and uh the pro 4x and platinum is getting the bigger nine inch screen uh mm -hmm. like apple carplay android all the fun stuff that you would expect um initially coming the first my first things and i did a video on this earlier uh if you go to our youtube channel you can see that but you revamp this vehicle and i, I really think the new color that that tan is awesome and the new the oh new looks fire, so good fire it's by far red. one of the best the best looking uh color combos with the with the little tiny red accents here mm -hmm. and there and the, you know it's 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 kind of like a satin black and tan and mm -hmm. then like i said the, the red accents i think that's a fantastic color option design that they came up with i'm well, really pumped that they that they kind of bit the bullet and blacked out you know the titan yes. on the front and blacked yes. everything out it looks so much better that way it's just cleaner you know, there's no giant chrome things hanging off of it. It's really nice. Right. Well, and, and I know initially people were bitching that, uh, well, what ha where's the Midnight Edition? You're like, well, the Pro 4X sort of is that now. Like, they've blacked yeah. out everything. Uh, but yeah. the one bummer they did, Danny, that I just can't get behind is, so you refresh the vehicle. Oh, it's supposed to be a new look. But, yeah, you kept the same boring Pro 4X on the side of the truck. Well, this is where we're going to disagree, Dave. Uh, well, the only, the only reason I like the look, I mean, I like the logo. I think it needed some color, but, um, well, that, just, and that's, and that's, I think, and, and we, we, I've heard you uh, riff on this quite a few times. Now. Okay. Go well, you, then You've heard it. You liked, you liked the bright yellow or yeah. whatever pro four yeah. X on the side. So I had my red truck and on the side it said pro four X, but it had a big old bright yellow four X on the side of my really nice red truck and i ended up buying black stickers because it, i don't want yellow on my red truck if i wanted yellow on my red truck i'd buy a yellow truck maybe it's just me what, but but, but you're on this a one, you're a bright color guy dave but in the 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 off-road edition should be feel sporty though right i mean in in the current pro 4x logo they have is just a kind of a boring white it's a reflector white the but, white could change the yeah. white could change but on the um on the tan one, is it white? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they okay. use one. It's one color white, and it's been the same thing they've used on this Generation 2 truck. But my okay. only fuss about it is you refresh the truck, man. You're sort of rebranding each one to its own thing. They could have kind of freshened that up, too. From the side of this truck, it looks the exact same as the 16 through 19. And it just yeah. seems like that was I, the I one. Kinda, I kind of get it, but I kind of think that it like that's the Pro 4X badge, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think they could have freshened it up maybe um, a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, I and, and that's maybe just kind of like a graphic designer's job, you know, right. make it cooler. Well, it just seems but, like it's an attention to detail thing for me is like they had a lot of attention to detail on this new one. Like there's hidden Easter eggs of Pro 4X stamped into the grill. Yeah, and all I, kinds I of dig places. that a lot. That, that I do the too. grill with the little the little uh, Pro 4X mm -hmm. right in the bottom corner. But it's brilliant just, little touch. I love that. I just felt like that was the one area. And then they didn't change the tires. Like it's the same janky general tires that don't look off road at all for that truck. That as soon as I would buy this version of the truck, I'd probably take it to a tire store and uh Simi Valley Pro Tires probably is where I would take it. Right. <laughs> Simi Valley Tire Pros, that'd be a great place to take it. <laughs> But uh, tires. but I would uh, get rid of these tires real quick. Other thing, everything else, I like the truck. I think this new sunroof is amazing. Like, 
I know you're not big on sunroofs being in Southern California, but <laughs> yeah, it's too hot for sunroofs. <laughs> right, but there's no, a that was the I, one I, bitch I about this it. truck is um, everybody wanted the a sunroof. Panor- the panoramic sunroof looks suit like there's that one picture that they got. They just have the sun coming through and it's you know super long, or well, the dual panoramic moonroof. Mm-hmm. It's a, I don't know if it's a full sunroof or how that works or not. On the side it says dual panoramic moonroof. So. Right. I don't the, know if the front's the front and, the front yeah the front will actually retract but the, obviously the back okay so and and then the rear is just that big long moonroof yeah. so um, I mean it looks really fantastic and it, and it'd probably be pretty cool um, if it wasn't so hot out or if you didn't want the sun on you right well, did you <laughs> notice that each of the the they got new bumpers on them they got finally attention to detail here they put LEDs for the fog lights instead of halogens on the oh, bottom finally and, did and finally. LEDs on top but um. I really think, you know, they, a lot of people don't realize this was a short turnaround. When the truck started failing early this year, they were like, uh-oh, and they did this quick, like this this little turnaround. Yeah. I mean, they, the, the, the the headlights are probably, for me, one of the best-looking changes on it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know what, they may have had those already, and they were like, all right, we need to build around these, <laughs> right. you know? Um, but... I think they really set it off and uh yeah the headlights and grill really really changed up the front of that truck. Mhm. And now in the tailgate too they've they've kind of did that a little different. And I do Yeah. Here tell me this. So you yes. you've seen the back of the grill the how they answer have The answer is yes, the yes day. <laughs> no, no, you don't even know where I'm going with this one. So they did. did the sort of the Titan T did you stamped in there, right? Yeah. But do you ever think about that looks just like the Gen 2 uh Xterra grill? Oh. Oh yeah. When you see I that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see where you're going with that. Yeah, it definitely looks like a Gen Two Xterra. <laughs> right, I see that. However, over. Dave, yeah, if, uh, I and I did this right before the show. I pulled up Ford's rear, uh oh, um, tailgate because somebody said, "Hey, that looks just like a Ford rear tailgate." And I'm like, "Oh, does it? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to Ford tailgates." Wait, and you're not you're not on Ford tailgate monthly? It's almost identical. However, here's the caveat. And and the, the the taillights are very very similar to Ford's as well. The caveat is, Nissan did them way better. Yes, they basically took what Ford did, and they're like, that looks all right, but we're gonna make it look a lot better. The just the tailgate itself is almost identical, but with the how the tailgate ties into the headlights that or the taillights, and then the taillights have a little bit better longer swoop to them. I think it looks a lot better. Um, so you can say they copied them, but I, I, I don't know. I think they just saw what Ford did and said, we're, we're going to make ours look like that, but a little bit cooler. Well, and everybody's so. caught. There's a, there's a reason I think too, for that is aerodynamics coming off the rear of that. Everybody is sort of doing that notch into the tailgates now. And I, I it has, there has to be some aerodynamics thing to that. Really? You think so? I don't, I don't, I think it's purely designed. I don't think there's any aerodynamics in that. Yeah, but who would ever thought Maybe you'd put is, a spoiler but, on a tailgate too? Well, and the now, spo- the top spoiler part, yeah, but it's, I'm thinking about that. You know how, especially on the the where they black out the cross section. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking at the Pro 4X. Yeah. Um, that that cross section, I think it's just kind of breaking it up and making the tail lights tie in together across the back and. I think it's just a like a design thing, like an aesthetic eye catching rear portion. Mm-hmm. Personally, well, I do. So get to the front again. the The headlights are much smaller now, even though if you look yeah. at it, it's almost the exact same space as the uh, previous model. But it looks like that's turning signals now at the very bottom of it. Um, I and people, guys, stop with this. It looks like the Armada. The, or the new patrol front end guys led tech there's only so much you can do with led tech going to your daytime running lights i don't know what what you think they can do with them but yeah it's every company now has a basically a c going around their lights because it's sort of mandated by law that you have running lights so i don't know but the tailgate yeah i'm looking at one now and other than them having the titan logo stamped in the middle i agree with you i think they blended it much nicer than than ford did matching the taillights yeah for sure and i don't know it, it, when you compare side to side the 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 front grill and the titan and i know we're going back and forth on this all over the place but it's just the old the old grill was 
it was just it was very plain it was very big and it stuck out and it 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 disrupted the the kind of the flow the the flow of what the front end could be mm-hmm. and i i'm just super impressed with the design that how they took that and they just made some minor changes to it and it looks phenomenally better right um, I like too that they went through the tow hooks in their start. If you're going to do a Pro 4X off-road edition, let's start painting those 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 hooks and everything. And they, it's a p- page out of Jeep's handbook of of action. yeah. Uh, the Jeep, well, it says it says, hey, look, I got I got things I got off-roady yeah. things on here. Yes, exactly. For, they, they've for always people, been there. Nothing really changed. You yeah. know, they they changed the front little um the front little lip to make it look more like a skid plate. You mm-hmm. know. And did you see they stamp Pro 4X in the skid plate? Yeah, the... another little Easter egg of mm-hmm. I like goodness. That, I like that finally Nissan, if you're going to black something out, they actually black the burger out. And then, much like most of the you know the aftermarket guys like to do, they actually put you know in the middle. You know, they've seen how people put the sticker of Nissan. They they black out the badge and then put a white or whatever color sticker they want to for the Nissan. Nissan's actually doing that, and it looks great, man. That. It, it must have been scary for Nissan execs to allow that, though, to go, hey, you know, the burger yeah. is our logo, but let's not actuate that as much as just showing it, hey, yeah. Nissan. Well, it's, the, they, the, you know, on, on the Titan, on the front on the front uh, of the hood where it says Titan, it's like sometimes less is more, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, and I like, I like it's not, you know, it's not standing out. But then they still, you know, they put the red on the Nissan in the very front of it, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like you, you can, you can be subtle, while still standing out, you know, like with the with something that pops. Right. So instead of it's, and I'm so happy. Well, I mean, some of these trucks are chromed out stuff all over them still. You know, I, I still dislike most of the chrome star star spangled chrome on all these, you know, premium level trucks. I, I still think it's just so janky looking. Uh, I'm but, I'm with you there. I think ultimately my takeaway though is the Pro 4X really stands out now as a package. Uh, Platinum is never in my price range, nor like you just said, I don't want all the Chrome whatever features and. Yeah, I ju- I just think like if for like a premium package, you could have. I think it would look a lot better with color match stuff and or um, you could even. You could do something different than Chrome, I think, to make it look to to keep it feeling classy, without making it look like it's like you're some kind of chain hanging around from my neck. Right. <laughs> oh, I agree, and I like that too on the sense. Pro Four X. It's a one tone color. Like, there's not two tones. Like, yeah, I'm with you. I'm not a big fan of most of the two tone stuff. I mean, other than the, like the tailgate with a two tone on the tailgate, and you know, and you know, fender wells that are black on a red truck. I, I, I can do that two tone, but like this whole side strip down the center of the truck, I'm not a fan of those yeah. two tone stuff either. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a buyer for that, but it's just, wait, not... isn't your truck two tone Dave? It is. And I, if you watch my video, Danny, you would realize that <laughs> I don't like that at all. When I bought my truck you, and I say this a lot, what sold me on the Titan was the engine. Cause it's an amazing and it sounds amazing. And the interior is what sold me on that. When I sat in it and it just felt great, that's what I, the exterior of that truck did not ever sell me on my my Titan. Uh, I'm not a yeah. big. I'm personally, I'm not a big fan of the goofy V8 endurance badge they put, like the coming sort of thing, like I, Cummins. I, I my countryness <laughs> comes out every once in a while, um, but I I don't like that. And of course, they fixed that problem in eighteen, but. Other than like the two, t- the the outside didn't sell me. It was the inside. I I really really think it was the nicest truck for my money on the inside. Yeah, and uh, I if you were to ask me, I would say of all the truck colors that you should never buy, Dave, it would be black. I would agree, Danny, and I don't and like you have black vehicles. Three black vehicles. Well, you had well, you have three black vehicles. One doesn't really count, but still. Right. No. And somehow it's, it's an it's a, it's a sad atrocity of of incorrect truck buying right skills well, well that's all they had in a pro for x at the time I, I bought that uh this this tan though danny this is a it's a home run color and uh i think this is taking a page out of toyota's handbook a little bit and going well we need some exciting colors too yeah and they did we, a lot better than toyota toyota overdid the tan mm-hmm. they like put tan on too many things i think mm-hmm. and i liked it when it first came out and then i was like well it's it's too tan 
Yeah, this one's a more subtle. It's more of a... It's a little a, darker. Yeah. I dig it. I dig yeah. it. It's better. So better Danny, than Toyota. No, duh. So, Danny, on a scale of 1 to 10, how is this refresh in your eyes? Uh, this refresh is an immediate buy for me, mm -hmm. uh, which is a... I'd give it. I'd give it a solid eight. Okay. Um, Anything you don't it, like? The, my my problem is they said it's not a refresh. It's a full redesign. Yeah. Which so is... I have a problem with what, how they're. <laughs> I think I think it's, it, it's a kind of a gray area. Uh huh. Um, but I think they they knocked it out of the park as far as like, getting the truck where it needs to be at as far as technology. Um, killer warranty that they're offering on a five-year, hundred thousand-mile warranty, bumper right. to bumper. That's a badass warranty too. Oh, it's um, great I'm warranty. glad they put that on there. Um, the styling and all the features. Um, yeah, it puts it right up there with with the top three as far as like what you're getting bang for your buck. And and they haven't released pricing on it, so you know, I would say it's at the exact same level. Um, as far as pricing and options as you get from the top three. Right. Um, and so pricing, I, I hope, I hope pricing is con just as competitive, um, as what the top three are offering. The top three have a lot more options with motors and trim levels and all this BS. But, um, I, I think the, I think the, the Nissan has a little bit of je ne sais quoi, if you will. That's my French coming out of me. I'm not French, but I could show you some. Nice. Um, yeah, you know, and, and people were commenting on our Facebook page about this, about, well, they need to option more motor options and all this. And and I started looking, and it's like you get a V8 for damn near the same price that GM offers you a V6 economy package. Like you're getting an, a, a big – when I was a kid, if you would have said you can have this V6 full-size truck, or you can have the V8 full size truck. I'm going V8 every time, man. Yeah, and you know what? It does like I, I, it doesn't have the stupid Ford th or the I'm sorry, the stupid Ram thing where it turns off at the, f at the yeah. lights all the time, and you have to have like a extra little friggin' almost almost hybrid 5.7 liter in order to get the big power numbers out of it. Because mm -hmm. um, Ram has that, you know, they have their Hemi, but it. And it and it rates at the same power level, or almost. It's yeah, like um, three ninety five. I think there's three ninety five four ten yeah. for horse and torque. Um, but the, but there's it's it's kind of janky to the way they do that because they have their little their little electronic assist style <laughs> thing, yeah. it, almost hybrid. I guess you would call it. Uh, no no alternator it has batteries and et cetera et cetera. Um, Chevy, Chevy and Ford have more straightforward V8s, um, that, uh, that are very similar in power, but I, you know, it, 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 it the Titan XD is going to be a much bigger and better package for, for hauling as far as, um, as, I, as what it is. I hope so. Well, the Titan XD premieres this month, sometime middle of this month, they're supposed to show the refresh of it. And, yeah. uh, I'm hoping that they go with the XD now that they go, it's a three quarter ton truck. I really do. And I, I kind of think that they might do that. It's already yeah. on a three quarter ton. We'll frame. see. We'll see what, what's coming with that. Um, yeah, I, I haven't heard any rumblings and I know, I know we haven't really chatted about it offline, um, about what we're going to see with that. So, um, who knows? It may be, it may be the same, similar, same, just, you know, with more stuff offerings or right. And please we'll see, we can only postulate at this point. And for God's sakes, please do not have a pro for X XD. That's the goofiest thing to me. I'm, what do you mean? I, I just think that the pro for X needs to be the half ton and let, let the other one just sort of be a workhorse and don't offer an off-road package in that. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> what? We don't agree. That's crazy, Dave. I so, can't believe it. Well, I mean, I know that, GM and all of them offer 2,500, 3,500s in off-road packages. I just think Nissan needs to simplify a lot, and they need to make one XD. Obviously, you can have a couple trims, but just, you know, keep it simple. Just let's... What if I want to tow, and, and, and I also want Pro 4X? You want to tow and do some off cool off-road jumps while you're at it? Yeah, dude. 
Well, I, I, you know, I, this is just me speaking. Don't Daniel. limit me, Dave. I'm John, John Nissan. I'm not, I'm not making all these major decisions, but don't limit me, man. I'm not Team Venom Racing, for God's sakes. <laughs> Anyways, I love you, Walter. Man, if you're listening, um, come back to us, buddy. It's all in it's all in good uh, good humor. So, so Danny, you said you give this truck an eight, and uh, I give it an eight and a half. I think there are a couple things they could have done a little better: new rims, wheels, whatever you want to call them, uh, and that logo and tires. And I would have been super happy. But ultimately, it's an it is a refresh of a truck, and I think they did a damn good job. Yeah, it's it's and I think you can see it on on a lot of the social media when they popped it out. Um, initially, when the first Titan came out, I I didn't quite see the rave love for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this one, I saw a lot of people just saying, "Hey, this looks really great. I'm really stoked." Um, so I think you can kind of I I got a pretty good vibe from from most of the social media. A lot of people shared it, said this is pretty sweet. Um, so. You know, they, I, I think it, I think it was extremely well received in the in all the communities that I saw. So hat yeah. tip to uh, all those peeps at Nissan who probably worked their balls off um, yeah. in a very interesting Nissan environment trying to get this out so that hopefully um, hopefully they can save save some jobs, save their honey, their buddies jobs and uh and get Nissan cranking again. So I, I'm I'm excited for the future of the of the Titan. Right. I just I just hope that this isn't like oh uh, we're we're going to refresh the Titan again in 15 years. No, I th- I think I think in two I think it's a make or break ultimately for this truck. I think in 2 years either they discontinue Yeah, they're the going to have to see some some good movement on sales right. and, or you don't see a Gen 3 of this vehicle. So and, and of course you got Frontier coming out, you know, next summer and there's going to be a lot of buzz for that, and I know they want that buzz from the Frontier to carry over to the Titan. So we'll see. I, I'm I'm very happy. I will say that dealers were a little miffed at why you, during truck month, you uh trying to get rid of a bunch of 19s on lots. Yeah, you up. should have pushed truck month uh, um, a month earlier <laughs> and started it a month earlier and then released the Titan after truck month so yeah. that they could get rid of all their 19s. So now you've got a, a fourth quarter that wasn't. Of- no truck and sales. I, I have a feeling, Dave, that that was kind of like, uh, hey, the cubicle in this office didn't get uh, didn't send the mem- memo over to the other building to that mm-hmm. cubicle. Mm-hmm. And then the meeting didn't happen between this guy and that guy, which would make a lot of sense for Nissan at this time in their their movement. You know, wow. I, it, I think it, I think it was probably more of a um, a misstep. On their part, and I bet you they're probably saying the same thing to themselves, especially probably if they're hearing dealers say that, right. which I'm sure dealers are probably saying that all over the place. Well, either way, guys, uh, if you're over there in Nissanville, uh, my hat's off to you guys. You, uh, the pictures and video of this truck initially coming out were yeah. very great, man. I, I really great, great media content. Mm-hmm. Um, Maddie Brennan, yeah, super super cool cool chick. Uh, she she was in the she was in the thing uh into the, in the yeah, little we, video and we um, met her shout at, out to her we met her at the titan event we went yeah to. at the Titan event um cory bar she's a super met. cool chick I'm, I'm stoked that she got a cory bar was there I, I don't know the other guy chef uh, David. he's also a chef as yeah. well but cory bar is me, the most amazing chef. how do cooks get involved in, in trucks i don't know man i think i think what they did is they cook some good meals to the right yeah. people at one point yeah. in time and they're like listen you keep cooking like that for me. I get an off-road or a girl that does fishing and outdoor stuff. Like she's a kick-ass individual, and so they need a kick-ass truck. But I don't understand cooks and trucks. But I'm sure there's somebody smarter than me that's made that, you know, connection, and it probably helped them sell a few trucks. Yep. So, anyways, so Danny, that's the Nissan Titan, and. We won't know till the press doesn't get the vehicle for another month or two. I've seen a few floating around already here. Um, yeah, I'd like to I'd like to get my hands on one. So we're gonna we're gonna try and work a work with some of the powers that be to maybe get one if we if are. we get one out here on the on the west coast. If I can uh, take a turn in it. Well, so. I'm supposed to. Speaking of taking turn, I'm supposed to get a Versa, and uh, there's a lot of crickets all of a sudden on that Versa. So uh, it's because they don't even have any. Like, eh, Versa? Man, I don't, I don't know, man. 
Yeah, we'll get on that verse. Nobody cares about that. Well, I, I care about it because I want to test drive the car and uh, do a YouTube review. And if you guys Why don't you test drive something else that's more exciting, Dave, like a GTR? Well, because they won't give me a GTR right now. Cause oh, man. <laughs> they, they're they not really interested in selling GTRs right now, Danny. I know. I'm just kidding. Um, and they, you know, the new Rogue's not out. So, anyways. I feel so, you, Dave. Well, so Dan... Other than uh, new Titans and anything, anything else going interesting in your life, man? We've we haven't really chatted in a while. Oh, what is what is going on in my life, man? Uh, no race truck stuffs going on because it costs a lot of money, and I went on too many vacations. Yeah, and I got no time, and my wife is uh, traveling more, so not a lot's going on other than uh, busy, busy bee. Um, speaking of busy B, we uh, we don't have Holden on here tonight, you know. I know Holden Holden's running around in some other state. Yep, he's holding down uh, he's, the he's New schmoozing area. he's schmoozing people in the other in uh, in different states. And speaking of deals. that, speaking of that, did you see Holden rented a Jeep Gladiator, Dan? Oh, that poor guy. Poor it's guy. Just, what he's gonna. Yeah, dude, he's gonna need to freaking get his hearing checked when he gets home from all the freaking rattles and squeaks and. <laughs> <laughs> Massive amounts of noise from the terrible cab design. I I will say that he hit us up last night riding around in that thing, and he said, "Man, I forgot how loud Wranglers are." Dude, they're chinky, bro. They're put together. It's like a bunch of plastic slapped on that thing, and like, it's not a. I mean, I guess it's cool if you're off road. It's probably dusty inside. Well. I'm, I, I, it probably is honestly but he was like his initial things was it was raining where he was at and he was talking about the rear end of that vehicle just sliding all over the place oh i bet it um because you know that's the problem you start using aluminum pieces i think the tailgate and stuff's aluminum on that and you're really lightening these vehicles for fuel mileage and then all of a sudden you forget oh yeah they got to drive through weather so uh <laughs> right <laughs> oh people actually do use these things so yeah. Um when he gets back I'll be I will be interested in his uh, impressions of it versus a normal mid-sized truck cuz you know I still It's going to be a terrible impression I already know. You want to know why Dave? Cuz it's a terrible truck. Cuz you hate Jeep. It's a Jeep. It's a Jeep with a truck bed. Well, and if you would like more of this debate, go over to <laughs> trucklife.com. Uh me and Danny have started a new podcast and it's soon to drop. Like any time now we could drop a couple episodes on you. And if uh, you want to know our opinions of the the rest of the SUV and truck world, go over to Truck Life. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to uh, our Instagram. We're trying to drop some pictures there every once in a while and some things and get your ideas on new vehicles. And uh, if not, you're going to miss out on uh, this great debate, that this high-energy debate that me and Danny have had tonight. I think we're both pretty pretty beat from the day, Dan. I... Um... I'm usually beat for different reasons. Well, like if I don't clean my clothes up in my bedroom, my wife beats me. Um, if I don't put my toothpaste away, she beats me. Wow. I need help. Wow. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> so if you're, you're in the Southern California area, <laughs> find Danny and help him out. Uh, so, Dan, that was episode 98. Oh, we're getting close to the so, to the big shebang. So close to 100, Danny. But guess what? Next time we've got interviews. We have got winter views, as Holden likes to call them. Yeah, and there's we've a got, lot of stuff that happened at Went, right? So we, uh, we gotta we, we gotta get the, the the lowdown from all the guys. We have Mr. Aaron Powers, uh, buddy. He's uh he's gonna give me a, a nice interview about you know why the event and why he loves his Nissan. Uh, X, SUV and just all kinds of fun from Aaron and then down the road I got a nice interview with uh, CVT uh, Mr. Tom over there from CVT was kind enough to give me about 15 minutes of his time we've got um, all things Overland coming up in the next few episodes that's going to be fun he's a he's a Overland guy that does, has a YouTube channel all things Overland and he does it out of a Nissan Xterra which like he talks about you know there was other vehicles he could do but he wanted to be able to afford his overlanding adventures, so he went with the affordable vehicle. Yeah. So, and then That's... I know, Danny, we got all kind. Of, me and you might have a new adventure this February coming up too. Yes, there's a, there's there's talks going on about uh, going and doing some fun stuff with uh, with some some very good friends that we have done some fun stuff with before in a destination so, frontier kind of way. 
yeah, we're uh, we're we're planning it on. It's almost like a destination wedding. It is, but more adventure, less uh, intercourse, and more fun. I think no intercourse would be the, <laughs> the, the key word there, Dan. <laughs> uh, the last adventure, but... <laughs> Danny was nice to snuggle with me on the last adventure, though. It was quite cold. But so it's like your human CPAP. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, buddy. Not anymore. Uh, so... So from all things Nissan here in Middle Tennessee to wherever you listen to us, man, I want to appreciate I I do. I appreciate every everybody that's listened to us and you guys have come strong on on YouTube for us. And we are at five hundred and thirty subscribers now on our goal to one thousand. Awesome. Well over nearly five thousand hours watch, Danny. So it's like ridiculous how much time people are watching. Nice. But anyway, so Danny, I appreciate you being back on the show, buddy. Yeah, brother, it's good being back, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll keep cranking out shows for you guys, and uh, so you guys can enjoy our beautiful voices. So this is your Nissan Nation podcast, and what are we, Danny? Oh, peace, everybody. Let's go.